Good morning. Please rise for the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, she was conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Today we have the feast of two people. Uh, we have Martin de Porres, who was a Dominican, and Rupert Meyer, who was a Jesuit, who was the pastor of a church in downtown Munich, who spoke out against the Nazis and was placed in a concentration camp. Let us pray that God continue to strengthen us in our lives as we bear witness to the truth, the truth of our redemption in Christ Jesus. And we ask Almighty God for the grace and power to live our lives according to his will. Let us now acknowledge our sins and ask for God's pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you've shown us the way to the Father, Lord, have mercy. You've given us the consolation of the truth, Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd, lead us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, give us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, you made your priest, blessed Rupert Meyer, a steadfast confessor of the faith and servant of the poor. Grant that we pray through his intercession that fearless preachers of the gospel may be raised up in the, your church and that we, we may be given hearts open to the needs of others. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found in human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. 
the response. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts be ever merry. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. For dominion is the Lord's as he rules the nations. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. To him my soul, my soul shall live, my descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servants to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you to consider me excused. And another said, I purchased five yoke of oxen and I'm on my way to evaluate them. I ask you to consider me excused. Another said, I've just married a woman, therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. And the master of house, in a rage, com commanded his servant, go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, sir, your orders have been carried out and there's still room. The master then ordered the servant, go out to the highways and hedgerows and make people come in that my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of these men who are invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned earlier, today we celebrate the Feast of Blessed Rupert Meyer, a Jesuit who was a chaplain in the First World War and uh, lost a leg ministering to uh, the troops in that horrendous war. Uh, he then became the preacher and the pastor at St. Michael's Church in downtown Munich, and uh, he didn't believe just him stay in the church, he would say mass in the railway station uh, three or four times in, during the morning rush hour. His, his philosophy was we bring the church to the people if they're not coming to the church. As early as the 1923, uh, he was asked at a big meeting, uh, is it possible for a Nazi to be a Catholic? And they, of course, they assumed, oh, he's gonna say yes. Said, no. And from that time on, he spoke out vigorously against the anti-Semitism and the desire of the party to control the truth, control what was said. He, the party tried to uh, close uh, all Catholic schools. And he spoke out against that. So obviously he was uh, uh, un, uh, a persona non grata for the, the regime, and he spent some time in concentration camps. He, uh, he was released uh, well, as the war was over, and uh, died celebrating Mass on All Saints Day, 1945. He was a man who spoke out against the real Nazis, not people we call Nazis because we disagree with them on a tax policy. Real Nazis, people who want to control 
the people's access to the truth, the truth of the gospel, that is Jesus Christ who died for our salvation, that God sent him to redeem us from our sins, that that is the allegiance we must have to God's kingdom and not to the kingdom of the state and the party. So we ask somebody God in our own lives to give us that kind of courage that inspired Rupert Meyer. Our reading today from Philippians, the great hymn that Paul quotes in first, first uh, rather in the, in the letter of the Philippians, talks about Jesus emptying himself. Even though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and took upon human appearance, became even a slave and accepted death on the cross in obedience to the Father. Paul presents this as the model we should follow in our own lives. He says, have the same attitude that Christ had. And certainly Rupert Meyer certainly displayed that attitude in his life. He emptied himself, was not concerned with his status or even his safety, and spoke out the truth. Well, let's ask Almighty God for the grace to see in our own lives, be challenged by the words of Paul's letter to the Philippians, that we empty ourselves, accept God's will and obedience. Let us now stand and present our petitions. We come together to ask our Mother Perpetual Help's assistance in all our needs. Grant wisdom and prudence to our Pope, Archbishop, our priests, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Lord, Lord Mary, Mary, our Mother. Be with us as we struggle with the ordinary challenges and cares of our daily lives. Hear us, Lord, Lord Mary, Mary, our Mother. Grant health to the sick, grant them patience when afflicted, and hope when they are dejected. For those who were or who are involved in abortions, for the end of abortion, and for those rebuilding their lives after abortion. For those wishing to begin good Catholic marriages and families. Grant eternal rest to the faithful departed and consolation to the bereaved. For our personal petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. Let us join with Christians of all ages in praising Mary and committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread which we offer you, through the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed to you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine which we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father of the Almighty. May the Lord O Lord, receive the offerings placed in your altar in commemoration of Blessed Rupert Meyer, so that as you brought him to glory, so may you through these sacred mysteries grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always, everywhere to give him thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the feast of Blessed Rupert Meyer, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen up by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, whose heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph's spouse, the blessed apostles and all saints who are pleased with God the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our day. With the help of your mercy, we may be able to free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not upon our sins and the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. May peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
O oh Lord, may the mystery we have received prepare us for the eternal joy that as a faithful steward, Rupert Meyer came to deserve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's now go forth to announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.